Hi, my name is Laura. Today we're reviewing ECM Toolbox Workflow for Accounts Payable Routing. To start, let's explore the diagram on how invoices can arrive and be processed. Invoices can be scanned as hard copies, drag and dropped, faxes, multifunctional printers, pulled in from network directories, delivered via email, and eForms can even have an attachment and invoice inside. These records are stored inside of Application Extender. Workflow receives these records and routes them to different individuals or a specific individual for review and approval. When the last person has finished reviewing and approving it, the data is sent to the ERP system so a check can be cut and delivered to the vendor. Routing can occur under a couple different scenarios. We configure business rules directly inside of workflow so that invoices are routed based on a dollar amount or perhaps specific vendors. We can set up a chain of individuals to review the invoices. This allows individual invoices that are grouped together, perhaps vendors that begin with A and vendors that end with B, are routed to a set group of people. Bob, Tom, Kathy will review and approve those. We can also allow invoices to be routed on an ad hoc basis so a person can look at invoices and decide that they want to send it to Joe for review and approval. Let's go to the system and see how this works. So we're going to start off with first level of review, Nicole Rich. She's processing invoices and her level of queues is invoice 20s. Her processing level is 20 invoice routing. She has two more invoices to process. She selects the CDM one, takes ownership and starts the process to record. When Nicole opens up the workflow task, she'll see application extender with the invoice inside here. On the right-hand side, she sees comments. Note that she's already spoken to the vendor once. If she wanted to add more comments, then she can add them down here. At the bottom is a listing of the actual index values that were already captured when this invoice was scanned. What I want to do now is assign general ledger information for this particular invoice. I'm going to assign it to the first level. It will be human resources, and I will give it a project number, project name, GL code, and allocate $10,000 against it. You'll see that I've distributed $10,000 and that 5,675 is left. The next department that's going to receive allocation for this will be marketing. I will move to that row and choose a project number, and you'll see once I type in the project number, the database automatically pulls in the project name. I will do the same with the GL code, and then I'll assign out the remaining dollars, 5,675. So now I have zero dollars remaining. Okay, I'm going to approve this. Nicole had two invoices. Now she has one invoice processed. Let's look and see where this invoice went and how it's processed at the next level. So the invoice went to Bruce. Bruce works as the manager for level 30. Let's take a look and see how he processes the record. Bruce opens the workflow queue and identifies the fact that he wants to work on CDM. He opens up the workflow task and he'll see the invoice here that he wants to process. He sees the information that was captured. He sees the dollar amount that was allocated. He'll see that Nicole actually spoke to the vendor already and confirmed the invoice is final. Bruce says, this is great. He hits approve and his workflow task is now completed. Let's take a look and see what an invoice looks like after it's been processed. Here, we're looking directly inside of Application Extender. And what we do see is that after the check was cut, we received that information back. So the invoice was automatically annotated and the check number and the check date has been added to Application Extender so that people can see the invoice status in print or email if desired. I can also go and take a look at the history, so I can see the record information that will show me who's viewed the record inside of Application Extender, and I can look at the workflow history itself. If I want to, I can see who did the review and approval. I see that Richard Smith was the last level. He completed it, and the workflow was done. I think you'll see that the APM module for ECM Toolbox is very powerful. The fact that we can send that information directly to an ERP system for the checks to be cut is very beneficial. I want to thank you today for reviewing ECM Toolbox Accounts Payable Module. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.
Interested in what Queso can do for you? Subscribe to our channel now and check out these videos.